Welcome to DIY with Jeannie. Um, I'm Jeannie and if this is your first time, welcome. And if you are a repeat visitor, welcome back. It's good to have you. Today we're going to do a uh, towel holder for, well we're going to make a towel holder, kind of, that you can put it on your stove handle, dishwasher handle, whatever handle of your sink, whatever it is you have that has a handle and so that it can hang there, but it won't just slide right off every time you touch it. So we are going to be using uh, a fat quarter and a little kitchen towel from Dollar Tree. This is their new Shore Living Collection, and I really like it. I like the whole sea vibe. I know I live in the middle of the desert, but I still enjoy the good ocean vibe of this one. And because that's one thing I really do miss is the ocean. Um, but we're going to take a fat quarter and a towel. So we're doing, using about $2.50 worth of material. And really, that's it. So let me set that aside. And I'll show you what it's going to come out looking like. Kind of. I made this band too long. So the next one is going to be about this long. And what it does, it's going to allow you to hang it over your stove or your refrigerator or whatever you have. So you've got it hung there like this. This right here, and it's, I mean, I guess it's good that it's big. This right here feeds through. So you've got your handle and this feeds through it so that it can hang right there on your stove, like so. And then all you have to do is grab this and pull your towel right off. And it's just sewn to the sides. Now this next one, that was way too long. I didn't know until I tried. So uh, this is way too long. So I'm doing another one to show you with, I've cut a strip, a six inch strip off of the 18 inch side. So when you open these up, it is 18 by 24. You want to iron it real good, but let me show you what that looks like. You have your piece of material. Like so I ironed it and I cut a six inch strip. And then I cut that, this is 18 inches wide, I cut that in half. So what I have is a six by nine strip. And I folded it in half and then folded those up in half. And we're gonna go so on both sides. So I'm going to go do that and I will be right back. So I've gone in and sewn about an eighth of an inch seam allowance on both sides. Our little towel. Cut these little plastic thingies off. These little things. Cutting them off. We can open it up. We'll take the label off. And now we want to find halfway. So where is halfway? And the side that we want as the back, we are going to put our little clip on it. What I'm going to do is sew this way flip it around and sew it again so that it's a hidden seam. It's a hidden end here. That way I don't have to fold that under and hem it and blah, blah, blah. So we're going to do both sides, which really, I'd be smarter had I done this. So we've got our thing folded there. I'll take it all the way over and fold it, put it here. And then we will flip that through and seam it again. And I'll show you when I come back. So let me go put these two seams in. And if you like this content, if you will just go right down below and hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to know when new things come up, are uh, loaded, hit the little bell notification. And I'll be right back. Here is our little towel. What I did was I sewed it under and then flipped this around, sewed it down on both sides 
so that we have so that we have um, no raw edge showing where I had that cut end. So now when you drop that, okay. So you've got your towel like so, because you want it on the inside. So you've slid it down. You've slid it down onto your handle. So now the handle is here. We fold that over, pull it through, and now I get my hand out. And now this is what you have hanging over your oven or dishwasher or sink handle. And you can just fold it in to make it you know, zhuzh it up a bit. Fold that in. Pull that over. And there is your towel that is now hanging on the rod like so. So this part's hanging on. You've got that part showing. Just like that. And all it took was just a few straight seams and a dollar twenty-five. Now I used the whole towel obviously so that's dollar twenty-five but of this I can get probably six of these handles out of one fat quarter. So what you might do instead is use this as the handle for here and then make a hot mitt, uh, a jar opener, something else with the rest of your fat quarter and for it, you would still have, you would use the material from the fat quarter, but then you would have to get some um, heat resistant fleece. And I have some, and it's it's especially made, it's thermo fleece, and it is especially made so that you don't burn yourself. The heat doesn't come all the way through. It gets stopped at a, a place in the middle, and it's the way I did my hot little hot pads that I did earlier in another video, and I will link that video down below. So that is our hand towel for today. Very simple. All it is is this one little piece, ironed and seamed, then iron it onto the sides of your towel so that then you can feed your towel through and hang it in your kitchen. And it, it, it won't fall off until you're ready to just pull. And when you pull, it just pulls this out. And so you get that part and that's how it comes off. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment. What else would you like to see? Uh, would you like to see me do the hot mitts with it? With the fat quarter? Would you like to see more Dollar Tree things? Would um, sewing especially? Uh, just let me know in the comments. And I appreciate you watching.